With us again this morning is Rosalinda Roman, who is the host, producer, director, <laughs> uh, janitor, <laughs> <That's> babysitter, <right. laughs> diaper for, changer, right? Diaper <laughs> changer for New Mexicast. Did I get all the job titles? Um, there's probably a few more. Webmaster, um, yeah, everything except person who sleeps is basically it. <laughs> yeah, the point I'm making is you do it all on That's this right. show. I just do. About. I do. The, the only thing you don't do is show it. And we're going to have the, the show on today. Yeah, and that's, um, for those that are just hearing about New Mexicast, it's a show uh, that features interesting people and places in New Mexico and beyond. And like you said, I do everything, and it airs right here on UABQ. And those are the times that it premieres every week at 10 o'clock on Mondays. And then they can catch the replay on other um, days, Thursday and Saturday, if they miss today. And that comes on right after your replay. So, yeah. And so I, I like to come on and talk about what we have each week uh, so people know what to expect. You make Larry and, Larry and I jealous every week because... Right. <laughs> Well, we want to do some fun trip like this, too. <laughs> yeah. So it's fun to hear all these stories. And now we're talking about flamenco this week. Yeah, and it's interesting. This story makes me smile a lot because um, it, I shot this story when my daughters were very young. And they're six and eight now. But at the time, they were maybe two and four. And if you take a look at the first video, the first story, now, you know, in New Mexico, New Mexicast, there's usually two or three stories in each episode. And the first story is all about the, care, the people who dance flamenco, the, the dancers. Sure. And there's one in particular that really caught my attention because she was a new mom. And I, if you guys can run the video, I think it's worth taking a look at. She actually had her newborn oh baby. <laughs> dancing with her <laughs> that's Liam little baby Liam you can see his little earplugs and uh, and this is the um, National Institute of Flamenco the Conservatory of Flamenco Arts in downtown Albuquerque where they oh it's just amazing isn't it and look at those two little girls in the front are mine that's uh, Ava and Ziva when they were Tiny. Little babies. Yeah, isn't that great? <laughs> but this is that that was taking a look at kind of the dancers and the uh, flamenco from the personal perspective. Yeah. Um, and that was a fun part of the story that I enjoyed telling. That's so cool. And flamenco is just such a great thing to do around Albuquerque or well, New Mexico. Yeah. It's a fun. Yeah, and you know, I, when I came to New Mexico, I had no idea that it was such a big deal here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you think of flamenco, you think of Spain, and um, but they actually put on the Festival Flamenco Internacional here in Albuquerque every yeah. year, and they bring some of the top flamenco artists in every year to, to you know, do the festival and, and show their, their dances, and it's amazing. And in fact, that's what the second video is, if you take a look at that. Yeah. Um, this is the performances. These, this is actually a, a dance um, company called Ijastros, and they are just stunning performances, well choreographed. And that goes on right here. A lot of them are at the, uh, the Hispanic Cultural Center in Albuquerque. And uh, so I kind of took two different um, looks at the flamenco, the art of flamenco in New Mexico in this episode that's coming up today. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. <laughs> so yeah, this is, uh, that's that. Ijastros, and I actually think you guys have some news about Ijastros, right? Yeah, so they're yes. going to be on our show tomorrow. Yeah, there's some flamenco events coming up, so yeah. we have a performance on the program tomorrow. We've had flamenco on the show before as well. It's, I love it. It's I just, just love amazing. watching it. it. I mean, it really is an art. You have to dance right, and your your these emotions come out. You just show, and it's just such a fun, fun event. To yeah, watch I mean, it's for me when I when I went to the performance, I realized um, that it you, you're everybody is captivated yeah. by what's going on on stage. But getting a chance to kind of talk to the dancers and understand how their process is and and that for me was a lot of fun and my girls you'll see in the bloopers and outtakes they're, they're trying to learn to dance flamenco Aww. which is really fun <laughs> yeah, the, when you dance it, it 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 appears that there's an embodiment uh, that it consumes you it's a, there's there's some physical things that happen to you when you're a, a flamenco dancer that you don't have in normal 
everyday life. It, it's, yeah, and you know what, what uh, Sarah Hartzorn, the lady that you saw with the baby, was telling me, um, they actually have a, de a degree here in New Mexico at the, at the University yes. of New Mexico mm -hmm. with an uh, emphasis on flamenco um, dancing because it really is something you can study and it's an old school technique back, you know, it, generations old. Um, dance technique that um, they pass on from one to the next to the next. So it's fascinating to me. I never imagined meeting someone who has a degree in flamenco dancing, yeah. <laughs> you know? but it really, it really was It's impressive. physically demanding too. Yeah, I don't know how she did it with a new baby. Yeah, I don't <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, because there's a lot of stepping. And, I mean, we've had them on the show before, yeah. and they just get so into it. And I mean, you build up a they sweat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. They're just, I've seen some of the video, you can see them just dripping yes. sweat. They're working hard. <laughs> so, uh, your show's about flamenco this week. That's and, right. And uh, uh, do you like people to give you ideas of what to shoot? I love ideas. Um, a lot of the stuff, as you know, is um, airing from stories I you saw my girls were little then sure. but we're getting to the point where I'm needing some new stories coming up very yeah. soon so please send me an email uh, my email address is rlr which is Rosalinda Roman at newmexicast.com so yeah send it to me and let me know if you have some story ideas I'm always open sure oh. yeah and but mostly going to start shooting after the beginning of the new year but uh -huh. you know you'll bring the camera so out and yep I'll do everything. Yeah, she does it all. <laughs> <laughs> For better or worse, <laughs> you're going to get me. That's it. <laughs> That's wonderful. Yeah, so cool. it's a lot of fun. But yeah, this was fun. And I, I have to make a little mention because we have, um, I don't know if you remember the episode a couple weeks ago about the Manic Mommies, that yes. group of women. Well, they're coming to New Mexico to Santa Fe this weekend. Oh, oh. that's this weekend. Yeah, and everybody's so excited. Although I feel a little bad because I told them we were we might have warm weather for them and I think we might actually get snow. Yeah, I think oh, it's no. going to be winter. <laughs> Oops. Well, so and not. you're going to go up and join them. Yeah, right? so we'll be up at the El Dorado Hotel in Santa Fe Beautiful. and it's just a gorgeous hotel, a gorgeous place and I think they couldn't have picked a better place to go. Yeah.